Hey guys, it's Luke San Diego. I have a Phantom 3 Professional that uh, I just got back in May when they first started shipping the thing. And uh, I've been lurking on the Phantom Pilot uh, forum site uh, for some time now. So recently, uh, a member from uh, California, Aaron Steiner, made a, a tool called HealthyDrones.com that allows you to update, uh, sorry, upload your flight record log and kind of get a lot of cool information from it. So uh, some of you guys are wondering how you get that uh, information up there. If you're running Android, all you got to do is just uh, connect your phone to the computer by a USB cable, and the Android phone will appear as a drive, and you can surf to the DJI folder and uh, copy down your flight record folder. For iOS uh, devices owners, it's not as straightforward. So let me show you uh, how to do that from start to finish. So the first thing you want to do is connect your device to your computer. It doesn't matter if it's a Mac or if it's a PC, but uh, just connect it with the USB cable and then uh, start iTunes. Now, if you do not have iTunes installed, uh, you have to go ahead and download that first, but I'm assuming that you do. So once you, you go to iTunes, you want to go ahead and uh, go to the apps section of your phone. And you just want to wait for the, the, the app to load. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down in this window right here. And you're going to see a section called file sharing. And then just click on the DJI Go app. Make sure that you are selecting the flight records folder. And I'm going to scroll down some more. And then click save to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it to my documents folder. The other neat thing that you can do with the uh, uh, iTunes and the file sharing feature of iTunes is to grab the video cache file from the DJI Go app. And I've done that too, so I can show you what that looks like. Now, this is not as high quality as what you would get directly from the SD card. But uh, if you ever lost your drone, there was a member that had his uh, go into a lake or an ocean. I don't remember which. But uh, wanted to know how he can get his uh, videos. And at least here, you'll have a lower resolution copy of your videos. It's still pretty decent uh, for sharing. It's not as good as the SD card, obviously. But uh, if you don't have your drone anymore, it's the best you can do. So once you've exported uh, your uh, flight records out of the app, you can go ahead and quit iTunes, go to Safari, and surf to healthydrones.com, okay. register, go through the whole process of registering your account, and then you just uh, click on Upload. And on this screen here, you choose your file. So I would navigate to Documents, Flight Records, and just pick one of the uh, uh, flight records file and then click choose. After that, you click upload. And I already uploaded this file, so it's going to skip a step. But basically, what it would do is it would just say uploading file, and there will be a progress bar. This is analyzing uh, data. And uh, once it's in there, uh, you can start going and surfing around. So I got a couple here that uh, basically uh, uh, I've uploaded maybe. 10 files or something like that, 10 to 15 flights. But you can see that it gives you a pretty cool map. You can go to a larger map that you can zoom in and out um, and get some other pretty cool, neat information um, that you can check out. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helps you.